Hi, are we okay? So this is lesson three. It's all about vectors in 3D. So in 3D space, you've got your X, Y, Z. Um, so you've got I, J, K as your unit vectors. So if you look here, we've got I, J, K as unit vectors. Or we have it in a, uh, as, or we have it as a vector form, A, B, C. The length is just by fag in 3D. And if you remember at GCSE, you did some 3D stuff. It's just that. It's just using the stuff you did at GCSE. I was. Uh, let's have a quick look at some of these examples. <clears throat> so find the magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude of the vector P is the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 4 squared. So this gives me, if you stick it in the calculator, it comes out as 3 lots of root 5. There you go. Right, so then it says, uh, so if A is, so we've got A, which is 2 minus 4, we've got B, 2 minus 4, 1, that's good to you then, not 3D. And B, which is minus 1, 1 minus 7, find the modulus of 3A plus B. So I need to work out what 3a plus b is first. Uh, oop, I'll do three lots of them. Um, hang on, it's getting you rubber. So it's three lots of a, which is 2 minus 4, 1, plus b, minus 1, 1, minus 7. Uh, I'm going to do it over here, aren't I? So 3a plus b is. So 6 minus, so we've got 3 times 2 is 6, take 1 is 5, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, and then 1 is minus 11, 3 times 1 is 3, take 7 is minus 4. So that's a vector, so now if I look at the length of it, the magnitude of it, I'm going to do 5 squared minus 11 squared minus 4 squared. It's getting a little bit windy out there. This is the... Um, well, last Friday at half term, I'll be finishing a little bit early because of the weather, but it is looking a little bit windy out here. Can't wait to drive down the motorway with a 60 mile an hour gust of wind. Uh, what's that get me? 9 root 2, according to the completed pack. There. Right, so I've done some 3D vectors where I've found a vector and I've found its magnitude. I've just done the magnitude. Uh, so look at example 3 then. So example three says A and B have got those position vectors. So I know that that is an A. I know that that is OB. So AB, first of all, is second letter and take the first letter. So A to B is four minus A to B, minus three, four minus seven, so 4 take 3 is 1, minus 8 take 4 is minus 12, 2 take minus 7 is 9. And then I want the distance, so the distance is the length of the vector from A to B. So that's the square root of 1 squared, minus 12 squared, and 9 squared, which according to the completed part, is root two two six there. No, well, that's okay. Oof. So unit vectors. That's where you remember you want to find the length and then divide each number by it. Right. Okay. So let's do the length first. So that's 2 squared plus minus 4 squared plus 4 squared. So that's 6 then. Oh yeah, look at that, it is. So then the unit vector is I'm dividing each of these by 6. Gosh, 
said, hey, the wind got out. Right? So each of these divided by six. Really, you should cancel down. Yeah, I'll jump back. Whew, we are now, 5 minutes 20. Let's do this as an example, then we'll do another bit. So it says, find the possible values of C. So I've got my I, I've got my J, I've got my K. It's a unit vector. Right then. So if I know that, then I know its length is 1. So the square root of a half squared minus a third squared plus c squared is 1. So if I take the square root over, it'll give me like just 1, so I've got a square root. So then I've got a quarter plus a 9 plus c is equal to 1. Uh, what's that? So that's 9 over 36 plus 4 over 36. That's going to be 13 over 36 plus c is 1. So c is going to be uh, 23 over 36. Ah, hang on, that's c squared. So c is plus or minus root 23 over 36. But 36 is 6, isn't it? So root 23 over 6, there. That seems quite a good place to stop that bit.